now it's time to clean up the perimeter and the edges. We've got our Artist Club DX pearl handle and we've got our ProGuard blade. We're now going to put a fresh blade in our razor using the dispenser system that allows us not to have to touch that blade to put a brand new blade into that handle. We're going to prep the skin and we're going to come in and we're going to shave the edges here. The Jatai Healthy Luxury Shaving Set gives us some really fabulous products to use as a part of the shave experience in the shop every day. We'll use the product, we'll explain the product to the client, we'll give the client the opportunity to experience the product, and then at the cash register the client will have the opportunity to take the product home to continue this experience every single day. Daily Facial Cleanser, Shave Cream, Daily Facial Moisturizer. The Daily Facial Cleanser, personally I like to use that one in the shower because I shave after I'm out of the shower. Here in the shop we can apply this cleanser. It cleanses, it's pH balanced, it's very gentle. It also removes impurities, it removes dirt, it cleans things up. In a home setting when you're shaving with regular blades and things, your blades will last longer. Your blades in the shop will last longer when we're using a quality pre-shave cleanser like that. Then we'll go in with our shave cream and we'll finish up with a touch of moisturizer. We're going to do our sideburns and our neckline area. I'm going to apply just a little bit of Blade Glide Plus underneath the product as opposed to using water to moisturize before we go in and shave and a small amount of the shave cream. I put it in my palm. I'll give this to the client so the client can hold it, can maybe read the label and learn a little bit about what we're using as I explain to them what we're using and why. One of the nice features of this shave product, since it's not a soap, it doesn't foam and it doesn't lather, it allows me to see through it beautifully, clearly and cleanly, so I can follow lines and edges and details. And just a little bit when we do the face shaving, we'll be able to talk about our ability to maintain a clear view as we sculpt that shape in the goatee. I normally in a shave situation will use the back of the razor to remove some of the shave product in the case of lather or I'll use my thumb. The thumb is the traditional way of removing the excess shave lotion or shave cream. It also gives you the opportunity to feel the surface of the skin if there's any imperfections or any things that need to be addressed in working around it. On the opposite side We'll come around the other way and on this side we'll use a backhand stroke. We'll pull up and provide tension on the skin. And then we come in through the nape area. The nape area, once again, cleaning any excess product away with my thumb, feeling that, feeling any inconsistencies in the scalp or in the surface before we come in with pressure with the razor tightening up the skin, letting the tool do its work. I'm not pushing hard, I'm not pressing heavy, I'm just gently letting that beautiful blade do its job. After we finish shaving, we're going to use the Daily Facial Moisturizer over the area that we shaved. I apply a small amount to my hand and apply a small amount to the skin. It feels good, it smells nice, it's got a nice light fragrance, it doesn't stay heavy, it's not heavy, it's not greasy, it's not oily. It's a fabulous aftershave moisturizer. We use it on the face and we use it and by using it in the shop on the client, giving the client the opportunity to experience it, we can talk about it, we can share it with them, and when we come around front when we're finished, he's going to purchase that at the cash register on the way out. All right, we tapered in a beautiful perimeter. We sculpted in a real nice progressive ridge line haircut in through the top. We cleaned up the sides and edges using our Jatai Healthy uh, Shaving Set. And now, styling product, firm hold styling gel to sculpt that and hold that up into place. 
We're going to dampen the hair slightly, and again, Blade Glide Plus, not a bad choice. And we're going to apply a small quantity. On a scale of 1 to 10, this particular styling gel is an 11, which means we're not kidding about it. It's good and strong and firm. He's got a good quantity of what would be described as fine textured, but good quantity hair. So he's not lacking. And you'll notice when we sculpt this in, when we style this up, you see the texture in his hair and you see the length progression working all the way up to that ridge like that. That's the difference between a full hawk that is simply faked in, where you're simply using gel to push hair up and into the middle, versus a style or finished look where it's actually sculpted or cut in like that. Time to style and dry things up. Grab the Dubo brush, um, smooth pins, no opportunity to snag or catch the hair, rubber base on it if you're straightening and pulling for torque. It's got a real nice ergonomic feel with a soft rubber grip and a light balanced feel in your hand. You know, we hold tools all day long. We don't want things that don't feel comfortable in our hands. We used our blow dryer to blow that ridge line up just a little bit and we'll use our brush just to sculpt things in place. We're going to move into face shaving in a bit and then he'll be finished.